We're almost done with this fairway wood. You want to finish a bore through? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the McGolf Shop and Tools of the Trade Tuesday. And last week we took a bunch of shafts apart and uh, put a one back together, one or two at least. And the most important one, or we won't say most important, but we'll say quite possibly most complex. All right, most complex, not necessarily hard, complex. And is the bore through. And as you saw, and we'll post the post the little note up here <coughs> in the assembly that I needed a tip pin, a, a, uh, an OEM type ferrule, and we had to go through it. So there's the tip pin again. All right, so now what we've got to do is we've got to finish it off nice and flat and give it a nice finish here in order for it to look good in the bag when it's sitting out here like this. So how do we do that? Well, number one, we got to cut that pin off. And we want to cut it off right about here because you know we've we put it down in this area so that when we go to finish it off it's still there and there's techniques you get this too hot and you can pull that pin clean out we don't want that that's the biggest reason for waiting for 24 hours so this thing gets a chance to cure all right so even when you're starting to make heat that this stays in the in the hosel area okay so number one back saw another tools of the trade a back saw it's an easy one and all you do is Start cutting. There you go. Now you're even. Now we're really going to start doing some stuff. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this off. So what does that mean? Well, what that means is we're going to take and we're going to cut this, we're going to sand this off using my Jet 8 inch. Uh, bench grinder multi-tool sander and the reason why that's so important is if you can see this it's got the multi-tool piece which is my belt sander it's a two inch wide belt sander and then it also is double ended I like everything being double ended because that means you're getting more use out of your footprint and then I, I put instead of the grinding wheel I put on an unstitched buffing wheel and you'll see why we did that here in the in a, in a minute so I'm going to take off my take off my covers of my ventilation unit put them away we're going to start this up and then it's going to start making noise so I want to tell you what we're going to be doing in advance what we're going to be doing is as you see how this belt's going to be going like this and I'm going to let it sit in here like that and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna sand this thing off till it looks like that now I'm gonna try and just barely touch that because it's gonna scar this nice chrome stuff and that's gonna be the hard part not sanding it down is easy it's the bringing it back's the tough part so out there just so we can uh, address that they're like well what if you were to uh, you know, make a mark on this side when you initially put it in sand it off and then get in there well, that's a good beginning spot, okay? That's a good beginning spot. However, it doesn't give you that professional, totally finished thing. Now, you could hand sand it, you know, but you're still going to hit against this, and you have a chance of marring it. So I just go into the idea that, yeah, I know I'm going to do it, and I'm going to have to fix it. That way, I'm just, you just walk right in, you get her done, and you're, and you're out of there. So I'm going to be like this, and I might actually do a little bit like that if I have to do the top, but for the most part, it's going to be like that. Then I'm going to change to a red belt. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to change to a red belt, which is this guy. And then I'm going to go to a 1200 grit belt, which is this guy. And then when that's all said and done, I'm going to go to my sisal wheel and I'm going to try and smooth it all out. So let's get this thing started. I'm going to turn on my fan. We'll see how it goes.
if you look, you see that now it looks nice and finished, right? It's nice and oval. There's no crap around it. And what I've done is I've finished off the bottom. If you notice, it was really nice and uh, shiny, so to speak, from before. However, uh, in order to do the finishing, because I, what I did is I sanded here, and it was just you would have had just a block, right, of uh, of grooves and stuff. So what I did is I took something less aggressive, and I basically polished down through it, and it gives it a much finer, cleaner look, so that when I go to shine it back up, it's going to look better. So on to the next piece. that if I can give you a little there we go see I brought back the shine and what <clears throat> so how did I bring back that shine an unstitched buffing wheel with a black rouge uh, kid yourself not all right when they use these rouges that's me throwing the towel uh, <clears throat> when they rouge on there they come in different colors you know you got the most common are the black the white and the red and they all have their different needs and different functions but kid yourself not uh, when you put it on the unstitched buffing wheel like that it's a sisal wheel and it's basically if you think about it it's really hard straw and then it's been stitched in circles and diameters smaller diameters to make it stiff all right so now you've put basically a polishing compound which is basically a uh, a very 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 uh, ultra light grit sandpaper so it's removing material okay so you really want to be you, you don't want to lean into it real hard you want to give it you know just enough to where it's doing its job you let the machine do the work there's no need for you to do that and then then you wipe it down you check your work and there it is so the very final part is and you'll see you've seen me do it before and it's right here is it right there yep it's right here is the unstitched buffing wheel with the glands watch and I like doing everything you know when we do ferrules we do a lot of the finishing and I just like giving it a final coat because it again it is the one that gives it the brilliant shine or even might be the finishing polish for what we need to do so that was your bore through and how you got it and how you get her done so if you like what you saw how about you like the video and subscribe so that you see more of this coming on because next time we're going to be finishing that ferrule of that other one that I glued together. So, until then, let's see your scores go low.